Hi, this is Teresa Bruni, the healer at Less Fear, More Flow. So today I'd like to talk to you about the word surrender and the art of surrendering. It's a topic that's been coming up quite frequently with my clients. And I've had my own personal experience with surrender, which was quite powerful. And I'd like to share that with you. Um, so for those of you who don't know me, uh, I was chronically ill for nearly a decade and on full disability. And about seven years into that journey, um, I realized that medical science did not have the answers that I needed to get well. And I was going to have to uh, create my own path back to health and well-being. Um, at that moment in time, uh, I discovered surrender. Prior to that, I, I thought surrender was giving up. Um, I thought surrender was failing and and I had no intention of failing or giving up. It just it just, you know, that was not going to happen. But what I discovered was that surrender means neither of those things. Uh, surrender is merely saying this is where I'm at. And so when I'm talking to clients about this topic, I often use the analogy of a military fighter pilot who, who gets captured behind enemy, enemy lines and um, basically has two, op two options, either surrender or die. So, so the obvious answer there is to surrender, but that's just for the moment. OK, once the surrendering has taken place, uh, then the prisoner can start planning an escape or or wait to be rescued. So uh, it's really important to not confuse surrender with with giving up or failing. Uh, for me, it was like seeing one of those big signs in the mall, you know, the, the kiosk that says you are here. And it provided so much relief to, to recognize, okay, I'm here, I'm sick, and, and I need to accept that. And then I could start to plan my way out. So surrendering provided me with a great of, amount of relief and relaxation because let's face it, fighting takes energy. And if you're fighting against a situation that, um, that you don't like and that you want to change, it's sucking up your energy. And especially if you're chronically ill, you need that energy to heal. So I highly recommend that you consider surrendering. Um, I have a beautiful write-up here by the author um, Daphne Rose Kigma. And she talks about surrender. And here is what she says. Surrender is a beautiful moment in which you gracefully, willingly, languidly fall, only to find midway that you have been gathered into some unimaginable embrace. Surrender is letting go, whether or not you believe that that embrace will occur. It's the trust to the hundredth power, not sticking to your idea of the outcome, but letting go in faith that even the absence of an outcome will be the perfect solution. Isn't that beautiful? So too often we get caught up in how we want things to be whether that uh, be um, with our health or with a work situation, a personal relationship, uh, maybe our weight, maybe you're struggling to lose weight or gain weight. We uh, get attached to an outcome. And oftentimes that's where we fall into, into trouble because um, uh, there's a power you know, greater than us that often has a different outcome for us. And when we can let go and allow things to open up and happen for us, oftentimes we see, uh, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty, as they say. So oftentimes we see in the end, things did not work out as we expected, but the outcome was in our best interest. 
And if only we had, we had just let go a little bit sooner. So I'd like you to consider that. Um, uh, if you'd like more information on surrender, I suggest you check out some of Daphne's books. They're absolutely fascinating. And I'll put her name in the comments section. So you'll have that. Uh, and feel free to reach out to me. You can reach me uh, at, on my website, Less Fear moreflow.com and um and i'm happy to answer any questions you might have and uh, i have a lot of um free resources on my website as well so i hope to see you there thanks very much and have an awesome day